collectibles. If you want to get one from him, you can. If you don't, you can go. There's a link in the description below. We just got a few features in that. Now we've got, we've got Scorch here. We saw in the inserts in here on the box art, uh, there was a clean version of this where there was no paint. It was all white. Not like the ones we previously already got. Uh, an all white version, which means obviously Hot Toys is going to milk this armor to death. And it, I, I'm here for it. That's fine. Just give me a boss, like a Sev. Like, uh, give me give me the other versions. Before we go get generics, let's get, like, the main colored variants out of the way, and then we can army build. Like, uh, that would be cool. Um, but here we go. We've got him. He is different than the previous version. We'll kind of look. There's really two main differences, uh, other than, obviously, the paint job. Um, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Before we get into accessories, let's take a look at this guy. It is beautifully painted. We got this gunmetal gray. We got this white with a lot of wash and dirt and grime and then we obviously we got his signature yellow accents and it looks great so helmet wise exactly the same other than the paints got a nice little like skull look going on kind of dig that right and even though i don't even have the batteries in there it looks lit up which i do appreciate with the paint application they put on uh, with these commandos it looks brilliant washes going on here scratches little grime all this stuff that you'd expect to see from a clone commando. Uh, differences, just quick differences on this guy versus the previous version. The shoulder pauldron here is different. It's similar, but it's not the same. It is. This is a little larger, and the bicep armor is a little larger. Let me let me go show you while I got I got it here. I'm gonna knock this uh, backpack off my other guy here. But there we are. So there's our shoulder our, uh, pauldrons. There you can see. Scorches is quite a bit larger. Bicep armor is a little bit larger as well. Um, but there it is. There's kind of the main differences. Outside of that, pretty similar uh, for the most part, honestly. So there's that. We'll get him out of here and get back to this guy. But paint applications, like I said earlier, beautiful. Uh, you've got weathering detail along the chest armor, the uh, ab section, the cod piece. And then if we go down to uh, the thighs, you'll see different applications going on here on each thigh as far as the weathering goes knee pads and then it goes down to the yellow uh, all over it, it's just a cool piece absolutely going to stand out on the display i mean it's gray white and yellow uh, with a blue visor there's no way this doesn't stand out along the back uh, he sat in some mustard so we've got some uh, uh we got some yellow paint back there on the rear end uh same clone fabric suit undersuit we've seen before range of motion is going to be pretty good uh a little bit of a little double bend action going on there it is on a like a really tiny ratchet you can kind of feel it um and then you can go up way high uh and way high there so Everything you want to do. The armor is slightly loose over here, so you can get a little bit of range of motion here on the torso, but not a, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Uh, and then you're going to have running into armor pieces. So if we move this, some of the stuff out of the way. We can get a little bit more bend out of that. This is the armor uh, limiting us from range of motion, not uh, anything else. And obviously, you can see the knee pad is on an elastic band, so you can move that around. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad because uh, you, when you're posing it, you forget the like the knee pads over here, and you're like, "Oh crap, I got to put it back over here." Um, the the thigh armor is fairly loose, um, you know, good or bad, it's just different. Um, but I absolutely love the paint scheme of Scorch. He does have some pretty cool accessories though. The DC 17M Blaster, which we've seen previously with Hunter and obviously the Imperial Commando, very heavily weathered, very nicely done. I dig that one. Very nice. His pistol blaster, which has this blue, like turquoise-ish sky blue color going on right here with a little red accent, stainless uh, look to it. It is not die cast, but it does look really good. I will note, it doesn't have a holster to put this in. That would have been nice. One set of gesturing hands. You can see the armor on the on both left and right is all yellow. Looks pretty good with a nice wash. One set of blaster holding hands. And then already on the figure, a set of relaxed hands for using the thermal detonators. Speaking of thermal detonators, you get two of them. You get one here and you get another one here that's kind of half, like you can attach it to something, but you can't because there's no magnet. That would have been nice. The backpack's definitely another standout piece. You got that gunmetal going on with some white. And then you've got obviously the little red buttons, white buttons. And it looks it looks fantastic. The yellow accents, everything. It does open up, although mine, it took a little bit of effort uh, it's not magnetic. There's actually a tab in here. So mine took a little bit of effort to get open, uh, as you can see. And I, I don't have like the world's smallest fingernails, but you, it will open. It just, uh, there we go. So you'll see a little little tab right there, which I th a magnet would have been easier. 
Uh, but anyway, so you can open it up, put in the thermal detonator, put in the extra hands, whatever you want to do with that. It is magnetic and there's some foam there to protect it from damaging the figure. And then if you want, I think you would have to, uh, you can attach these guys. So these kind of go on magnet. There is an R and an L. So if he's wearing it, this would be R uh, and just magnetize it right there. And we got our L side goes right there. And that is one hefty backpack. These clone commandos, they got some big backpacks, man. And then obviously, boom, there we go. I think that looks pretty freaking badass. Pretty excited about that. Last but not least, we have a standard Death Star style base, Clone Commander Scorch right here, named figure. Only thing left to do now, pose it up. All right, guys, we got Scorch posed up here. Looking pretty badass, if I say so myself. I do have the lights on in the head sculpt. They look good, although you don't always need to have them on because, well, the battery's gonna die. Um, but I think this thing looks sick. Cannot wait to get some more commandos to add. I mean, we need the Delta squad. We need the whole thing, the whole squad. Give us boss, give us, set. I've already mentioned that, but let's just uh, let's just admire this thing for what it is. On the shelf, uh, it's gonna stand out. No way around it. Yellow pops, um, it's just this huge backpack. And now he is missing, I mean, if you wanna go like and be all technical about it, he's missing the thigh canisters and you know, a holster would be nice. And like the lower half, they miss some of the additional accessories, if you will, um, I, which would have been cool. Don't get me wrong. And maybe I'll just 3D print some and add add that to the set, uh, which is probably not a bad idea. I could probably just do that rather quickly. Um, but these, these, this guy looks pretty, pretty freaking sweet. Uh, posing wise, I thought I would have little issues with the backpack being so flipping big. Um, but I didn't like balance wise. He is very sturdy. I don't, I don't think there's any, uh, wobbliness going on at all. The light up helmet works great. Just like the previous versions. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, the lower half of this thing is just looking all kinds of good. I mean, yeah. What can be said? It just, it just looks good. Taking a look at the previous release for the Imperial Commando versus Scorch. There are some differences. Obviously, the bicep armor is larger on Scorch. The shoulder armor is different. And the gray is different. So I was kind of shocked at that. I was putting them side by side. And the gray on the Imperial Commando is a lighter shade of gray than Scorch. I think that's accurate. I think it looks great. The yellow obviously pops. Uh, on the left, I do have Scorch's lights on. And on the right, the Imperial Commando's lights are not on. So there's the difference between that. Not a huge difference, but it is, it is, a, it is there. Um, but like I said, you don't need to have them on. It just looks slightly better if they are. So they look pretty good uh, side by side. Uh, again, shoulder, or uh, sorry, uh, thigh armor, shin armor, all that stuff's the same. Pretty straightforward. I did find when posing the knees being on those elastic bands being a bit of a trouble, kind of a, a nuisance, I guess, if you will. Uh, they work, obviously. Um, but posing wise, they're kind of, kind of, eh, kind of annoying. Another pose for you guys. We got Scorch double wielding, looking all kinds of awesome. I mean, these clones, no matter how you pose them, well, I take that back. If you have a decent pose, <laughs> they look, they're gonna look pretty good no matter which version you got, whether it's this one or if it's a 501st or if it's a whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, pilot, it doesn't matter. They're all gonna look pretty sweet. And they all have similar range of motion, so you can have pretty much any pose you want, uh, as long as you move the armor bits out of the way. This guy looks pretty sweet. Solid base, um, like, like I said, with the even with that giant backpack on him, uh, it, it works rather well. And this yellow is just, can you imagine if they did a, if, when, when, hopefully when, they do a boss, can you imagine that guy on the shelf? Dude, come on now. That's just gonna be freaking sweet. Now I decided to break out the Sideshow Wolf and uh, Captain Rex over here. So Wolf is on a stand because if he doesn't, well, you always know it's a sideshow figure is going to fall over and break, and nobody needs that. Um, but that being said, the size difference between um, Scorch and Rex in like the shoulder armor, the wide, it just it makes sense. The Imperial Commando looks awesome. Big fan of that. Uh, I think it looks great, and I'm super happy to have it in the collection. I do need to figure out. I thought about it. Just bear with me. I thought about instead of using this little tiny uh, the Obi Wan Kenobi hologram desk thing, I thought about breaking out the Darth Maul holographic figure. Uh, but honestly, uh, well, that thing's a piece of crap. So there's that. Um, but uh, this guy looks pretty sick. Big fan of that. Uh, there's Wolf. 
one of these days I'll do an entire uh, clone collection video. I already got one kind of in my mind how I want to do it, uh, but stay tuned for that. I think this is a super cool figure. Happy to have it. Can't wait to see more. Hopefully Hot Toys continues this line because um, I'll keep buying them. Uh, like I said, I got my Pop Collectibles. Link in the description below if you want to check them out. If you want to support the channel, check us out on Patreon. We're giving away this month, August, we're giving away the Hot Toys Batman 2022 Deluxe Set, which is the figure and the Bat Signal. So stay tuned for that giveaway at the end of the month uh, for Patreon supporters. Uh, details, link in the description below. As always, collect what you like. See you next time.